Yep, you are seeing this correctly. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video. Let's just get right into this announcement. This is my very own Urinal Lab in a Box collaboration with McCart. So first of all, let's just clear the air. So I know I haven't posted in a while. I'm very sorry. I basically took a break, but I didn't want to admit that I was taking a break. I was kind of in like denial. But now I am back with this collaboration announcement. I'm so excited to show you guys what comes in here. But I just wanted to say thank you to McCart for this opportunity and being able to collaborate. And also thank you to you guys you guys have supported me through everything and you're always there for me so i just want to say thank you and this box is for you guys let's finally just get right into it so yeah here is everything that you get in the box i was able to choose each of these items as you guys know i really love long nails i love easy nail art i love just honestly i like simple designs that still like look good and can still look complex even though they're easy to do so this box can definitely achieve those different looks and many different nail designs as well First First things first, we have a poly gel. This one is Daydream. And here's what the color looks like. It is a very nice classic nude color. Having nude poly gel is definitely like a staple. I definitely wanted to have a nude poly gel in this box. So yeah, that is the first item. Next, we have some rhinestone glue. Here's what the bottle looks like. This is for adhering on the rhinestone, which we have some right here, but we'll get into that in a second. And I honestly don't really have a good rhinestone glue right now. So this is gonna come in handy i'm very excited to try this out we also have a nail art brush here it has one side is a brush and one side is a dotting tool which is perfect to like that's literally what you need for some nail art the next thing we have is some iridescent glitter you guys know i love iridescent glitter and i really wanted a glitter in this box why not make it an iridescent one now the next thing is some blooming gel i am so excited for this i'm so excited to try this out so you just know we're gonna do some type of crock print or tie-dye design with this we also have some white gel polish here white gel polish is another staple like you cannot go wrong with white gel polish the next thing here are some pink gems i love the color pink so i'm glad we got to incorporate some type of pink into this box and these gems are just so so cute they have like a blue reflective color to it but you might actually get a slightly different version of these pink gems so they might not look exactly like this one and finally the thing that i think is the most exciting thing for me in this box we were able to add these extra extra long square nail tips do i even need to explain myself on this one guys we know i literally only do long nails this is like so perfect i love these so much i cannot wait to use them this is also a newer item from a cart i think they just came out with these like recently but i'm pretty sure my box is the first box that has these extra long nail tips in them so that is the box i hope you guys like all the different items in it i know i really love them i'm just so happy about this box so let me give you guys a little bit of information on the pricing for the boxes so my box is for the month of july and you can sign up for a monthly subscription which is going to be 35 dollars every month so if you sign up this month you're going to get my box and then you'll continue to get all the other boxes in the other month you can also sign up for a three month subscription, which is going to be $23 a month. And then you can also do a six month subscription, which is going to be $22 a month. So there's a few different options that you can do when subscribing for a Your Nail Lab box. I will also be leaving all the links in the description for you. So if you are interested, I of course recommend this month's box. But yeah, we're going to use all these different items in this nail set. Let's just get right into it. Okay, so here are my natural nails. I haven't done a nail set on myself in a very long time like honestly since the last video i posted i haven't done nails on myself so these nails definitely need some work i'm just going to quickly go through the nail prep my nail prep is pretty simple i just start off by pushing back the cuticles Okay, now I'm going to take this circular cuticle drill bit and I'm just going to work this around the cuticle area. This is going to help push back all that dead skin. Now I'm going to take my cuticle scissors and I'm just going to trim off this excess dead skin. Alright, now I'm 
going to take this fine grit sanding band and I'm just going to work this around the cuticle area and also file over the surface of the nails but kind of quickly and gently. I don't really want to put a lot of pressure when filing over the nails so I'm just going to be gentle and also put this on a very low speed. Okay, so here's how the nails look. Let me go put on a peel off base coat really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I put on the peel off base coat. Now we're gonna get sizing out these nail tips. Once again, these are the extra extra long square nail tips from McCart. So here is how they look. Very nice and long and square. They fit the nail really nicely as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and size these out. Okay, so I have all the nail tips sized out. Now I'm just going to glue them on with some base coat and my UV flash light but i recommend using regular nail glue if you're you know doing your nails without a peel off base coat Okay, so here's how the nail tips look. They are really nice and beautifully squared um, and very long which i love so i'm going to trim these down just a little bit i'm only going to trim off the number Okay, so I think this is a good length. Now I'm just going to reshape the nail tips. All I'm really gonna do is kind of blend this area together and straighten out the tip of the nail. Okay, next I'm going to remove the shine from the nail tips with my e-file. Okay, so here's how the nail tips are looking after they're all shaped and filed. Now I'm just going to add on a layer of base coat. Okay, so for the base of these nails, we're going to be using the Daydream Poly Gel, and I'm basically just going to be making all the nails this color. I'm also using some 91% isopropyl alcohol as my slip solution, so I'm just going to get smoothing this out. I'm going to be doing these nails in two beads, so I'm just going to start at the tip of the nail and smooth this bead out. I like to do my nails in two beads because especially when doing longer nails. I feel like it helps me get a better structure to them and it's just easier to work at the tip and focus on the tip of the nail and then focus at the cuticle area of the nail after. So I guess while we're doing the nails, I guess I'll just tell you guys about the Your Nail Lab box collaboration. We were working on the box and I got to choose all the items and kind of like customize it. What I really loved was that I was able to get the extra extra long nail tips in this box because that is something like that I need. I love some good extra long nail tips but it was really fun working on this box and having this opportunity and I'm so glad that I finally get to share it with all of you. Okay so here is the tip of the nail done. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. Okay now I'm going to add on the second bead of poly gel just at the cuticle area. I also want to say again that I am so sorry that I haven't posted in a while. I hope like announcing this box can make up for it though. So I did take a break. I wasn't planning on taking a break but it just kind of happened and I actually was pretty busy during these past few weeks. Like usually I'm not very busy. Mostly what I do is just make YouTube videos and do nail sets. Like I'm really just not usually busy because doing nails and you know doing YouTube videos, it can take a while, so I don't really plan much else, but it really does like feel good to finally sit down and have the motivation to film a video and make a nail set. Cause sometimes I don't really have much motivation. Like doing nails and doing YouTube is literally my favorite thing in the entire world. But sometimes, you know, you just need a little break. Okay, but anyway, here's how the nail looks after it's 
fully complete. I love this. This color is so cute. So for this nail set, I want to try and use as much of the items as I can. So we're definitely going to be using the blooming gels and do some type of croc print. And we're definitely going to use the iridescent glitters, also the gems. So I want this nail set to be nude with a touch of pink and also glitter. So for the pointer finger, I'm going to start at the cuticle area and I'm going to basically make a glitter ombre. But I want to start at the cuticle area first because I want the glitter to be at the tip and kind of go over the nude color. Okay, so I just blended this nude color out a little bit and I'm going to cure this. Okay, and here is the iridescent glitter. This is so, so pretty. I'm going to get these on the nail. I want to put these at the tip of the nail. I'm just adding some base coat on here and I want this glitter to kind of, you know, go over the nude color and I'm just going to put these on the nail. This iridescent glitter has a pink reflective, which is perfect because I want to add like little touches of pink to this nail set. Okay, so we're going to skip these two nails because they're going to be the same as this thumbnail just a full nude nail and we're going to move on to the pinky nail which is kind of similar to the pointer finger but instead of making the glitters ombre like this i'm going to kind of make the glitters in like a wavy line so once again i'm going to put poly gel at the cuticle area Okay, so I finished the ombre. Now I'm going to add on a layer of base coat so I can put in the glitters. Now I'm just going to add on the glitters kind of in a wavy line. Okay, now I'm going to move on to these two fingers. I'm just going to make them a full nail of the Daydream Poly Gel. I'm going to try and do this in one bead and see if it'll work out. <laughs> So all the base of the nails are done. Now I'm going to encapsulate the glitter nails and that will be pretty much it for the poly gel application. Okay, so here's how the nails are looking after all the poly gels on. I really love the glitters in this. So we're gonna go ahead and get reshaping these nails. I have my McCart dust collector and a hand file. And yeah, let's just get reshaping.
Okay, so here's how the nails are looking after they have been shaped. Okay, now let's get into the nail art. So we're going to need a dotting tool. I'm going to be using this one from the box. We're also going to need some blooming gel and the white gel polish. So I'm going to add some white gel polish onto my mixing plate. And I'm going to add this blooming gel onto my nail. I'm really excited to see how this blooming gel works. I'm just going to put it over the whole nail. Now I'm going to take my dotting tool and I'm going to make this kind of tie-dye croc print looking design. I'm not really sure what to call it. Okay, so that's kind of the idea and this blooming gel is working really good but I kind of didn't do it at the right angle I kind of made it too much across the nail it needs to be a little more diagonal so we're gonna wipe this off and restart Okay, so I have the nail art on. I actually really like this design. I think it's really cute. Now we're gonna see if I can incorporate these gems into this nail set. Okay, so all the nail decorations are on. Now I'm just going to finish off by adding some top coat onto the rest of the nails. Okay, finally, let's add on some cuticle oil. Here are how the nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think of this nail set in the comments. This whole nail set was made using the items from my Your Nail Lab box. Well, most of the items. I think the only thing I used was the clear poly gel that doesn't come in the box, but pretty much everything else was from the box. <laughs> I was so excited to use everything. I finally got to try the extra, extra long square nail tips, which I love. They are so long and beautifully square. Those are some good nail tips. I also forgot to show it, but I did use the rhinestone glue and that rhinestone glue is really good as well. We also got to try McCart's blooming gel and I'm very happy with the blooming gel. The gel polish just honestly blooms really easily in that. So yeah, I just had a lot of fun making this nail set using all the items and also creating the box itself and choosing all the different items that go in it. So it would really mean the world to me if you check out this Your Nail Lab box because I'm sure you will love it. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this nail set. What do you guys think about the Daydream nude poly gel? that we use today. It's a different nude than what I normally use. I'm very happy with how the design of these nails turned out as well. I love the iridescent glitter and the, I don't know what to call it, if it's tie-dye or croc print, but yeah, that pattern we did with the blooming gel and the white gel polish and also that nice touch of pink with the pink nail gems. Yeah, I just love this set and I'm glad to be posting again. I have definitely missed you guys. So I'm going to try my best to get up some more videos for you. But once again, if you are interested in this month's Your Nail Lab box, all the information for it will be in the description. I highly recommend you check it out. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I will talk to you all next time. Bye!